What is good with y'all man we are finally here with the dribble tutorial and i know it's been a while since the last one so these combos i'm gonna start off with like, you know a little basic stuff and get more advanced and then get to the very hard stuff at the end so um if you guys do already know like the beginning combo feel free to check the description i'm gonna have all the timestamps for all the uh combos and stuff so you just don't have to you know search around i got it all hooked up for you but here are the sigs i'm gonna be using so go ahead and slap those on and then we can go ahead and jump into the combos you know we're gonna get you right today i promise First thing we're gonna learn is momentum. Momentum is like the first move you should learn as a dribbler. It's gonna be like the base of most of your combos, how you're gonna start your combos. Um, more advanced people, you know, they don't use momentum as much, but if you're just now starting as a dribbler, you know, momentum's gonna be a big key in, you know, starting your combo. So make sure you learn this combo and then head over to the next one. <laughs> So our first combo that we're going to head into is momentum behind the back. Momentum behind the back is probably one of the most hated moves on because, you know, it's so easy and everyone spams it. All you want to do is put the ball in your left hand or the right hand. I'll just start with the left hand, for example. You're going to have the ball in your left hand. You're going to momentum to the right, and then you're going to let go of R2, and then you're going to flick down on the right stick and then point your left stick straight. Now, to do this with the ball in your right hand, you're going to do the exact same thing, except for the first move is going to be the opposite. You're going to do a momentum to the left, and then you're going to let go of R2, then you're going to flick down on the right stick, and then you're going to point your left stick straight. Now for this combo, we're going to be focusing on the spin back. Basically, this is the little Pro 4 spin back that everyone does. And all you got to do is rotate your stick, your right stick, from the top to the bottom. And it just depends on which way you're spinning from. So if the ball in your left hand, you're going to spin from 12 to 6, you know, like on a clock, you know. 12 to 6, you're going to rotate from the top to the bottom, but you're going to go down from the left side. And that's ball in your left hand. So if you have the ball in your right hand, you're going to spin from 12 to 6, but you're going to go clockwise. So, you know, just like a backward C kind of. So, you know, that's all it is to it. Not that hard. Now we're going to move on to the long spin back. This basically brings you all the way back to the three-point line or close enough. And, you know, you do it off of a spin. So once you got your spin down from the last combo, whenever you're coming back from the spin, you're going to flick left or you're going to flick right. It all depends on the shoulder. So if you're spinning from the right shoulder back, you're going to flick to the right. If you're spinning from the left shoulder back, you're going to flick left. And that's all it is to it. Now we're going to get into a combo that is requested by a lot of people. It is the momentum into the secret hesitation. This hesitation is not a signature style. It's actually your L2 button. So all you got to do to activate it is once you momentum, you're going to tap L2 and he's going to keep spamming that for the combo. Now for the combo that people want to see that I do is I do the momentum then I tap L2 for a little secret hezzy. Then I flick down on the right stick and then depending on where I want to go, I flick left or right on a left stick and then depending on where and then depending if the ball is in my left hand or the right hand I point my left stick left or right you know to make me do the behind the back and that's all it is to it and I do a hezzy after that to you know finish it off and shoot now we're gonna get into the combo called the triple spin now before you freak out about all the numbers on the screen I'll explain it to you so we're gonna start with the ball in our right hand and then we're gonna momentum to the left. Once you got the ball in your left hand, you're gonna rotate your stick, your right stick from six to nine. I want you guys to imagine a clock. So you have your number six, and you have your number nine. You're gonna rotate from six to nine and that's the first spin. And once you've done that, you're gonna move on to the second spin and you're gonna rotate from nine to six. So you're basically gonna do what you just did, but in reverse, you feel me? I know it sounds complicated, but just listen. Then for your last spin, you do a sideways spin, which is going to be from six to three counterclockwise, you know, easy, easy. Now, if you don't understand it, just replay this part of the video. That's all you got to do. There's going to be a lot of combos in this that you don't understand it's because combos are not made for you to explain to other people with words. You got to see the combo and then do it yourself. 
now we're going to move on to the momentum hezzy spam very easy combo all you want to do is momentum doesn't matter left or right and you're going to flick up on the right stick you just keep on repeating this process you got momentum left hezzy momentum right hezzy momentum left hezzy momentum right hezzy super easy and this combo gets a whole bunch of ankle breakers if they're not playing hands of defense if they're playing hands of defense combo ain't doing that to them So now we're going to head into a more advanced combo, and this is called the freeze dribble. I call it the freeze dribble. I don't know what these other dribblers call it, but it's the freeze dribble today. Okay, so number one, you want to speed boost or run in a direction. It has to be off of a move, you know, a crossover, a behind the back, something of the sort. You can do this without speed boosting too. You know, you can run. It could, you can do this with a center. I do this on my stretch big, you know, all the time. Now, once you're running in a certain way, you're going to move the left stick in the opposite way. So let's say you do a rhythm dribble and you run to the right you move your left stick to the left simple as that you know super fire and you do a little freeze move once you get the timing down you can start experimenting and do it with every single move you can do it off of between the legs behind the back rhythm dribble park size up hesitation literally everything in the game it's super fire combo now if you're a fan of me stizo you know other known dribblers you want to know this combo you know this is the pro 3 starting point for all the glitchy combos all right so we're gonna start with the ball on the left hand when you have the ball on your left hand you're gonna hold r2 then you're gonna flick down on the right stick and then you're gonna move your left stick to two o'clock top right of your analog stick basically now once you've got that down you're gonna move on to the ball in the right hand you're gonna hold the r2 button again you're gonna flick down on the right stick but this time you're gonna point the left stick to 11 o'clock so basically the top left of your analog stick now you might be asking g man why are you asking this listen man this is the starting point for all the glitch combos that we're about to go over so make sure you get this down if you do not get this down do not move on now we're going to get into a combo that i call the pro 3 glitch sideways behind the back now you want to start with the pro 3 starting point you know if you don't have that down go back and get it down now once you do your pro 3 starting point let's say you have the ball in your right hand you do your little pro 3 escape and you point your left stick to the top left as you're pointing your left stick to the top left you want to flick down on the right stick and it's going to do this little sideways behind the back now let's say you did it starting with the ball in your left hand you're going to do your escape then you're going to point your left stick to the top right or two o'clock and then you're going to flick down for the behind the back <music> Now we're going to get into a combo that I call the Pro 3 Glitch Jump Hezzy. Now what this combo is, it basically you do the Pro 3 Escape and then you do a Hezzy right after and it throws you, you know, forward. Now this combo is super good because you can get thrown forward and then you can do a momentum spin and then do your long spin back and you can shoot off it. You know, it creates a lot of space. So what you want to do is, let's say you have the ball in your right hand, you're going to do your Escape, you're going to point to the top left, keep your left stick straight to the top left and then you want to flick up on the right stick and you're gonna do a little hesitation and that's whenever you can decide if you want to do the combo again or if you want to do the momentum spin or you know some other combo now we're gonna get into a combo that i call the pro 3 glitch sideways crossover behind the back now this combo is very hard you know if you're just starting you're not gonna get this combo right away all right i'm just letting you know now so you're gonna get frustrated but listen it's just like that you know but I do have a warning for y'all. I have no idea how to explain this. I, I actually don't. So I'm gonna try my best. It's probably not gonna make sense, but I do have the direction written on screen. So if I don't make sense, you know, the directions do make sense. So let's say you got the ball in your right hand. You're gonna do your escape. You're gonna keep your left stick pointing to the top left. And then you're gonna flick your right stick to the right. Then you're gonna flick down for the behind the back. Now, if you have the ball in your left hand, you're gonna do your escape you're gonna point your left stick to the top right then you're gonna flick your right stick to the left for the crossover and you're gonna flick down for the behind the back i hope that makes sense if it doesn't i'm sorry you know just keep practicing get the other combos down before you get to this one you know it's gonna make it much easier because you know these combos it's, it's not easy to explain you know it's more of like I just gotta show you. So I have the control on the screen, so hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, tragic. <laughs> now, man, if you thought that last combo was hard, <laughs> watch this one. Now, 
honestly don't know where to start with this combo it's basically you can do your pro three then you can do a little spin then you can do your behind the back okay it's a super fire combo but it's super hard to explain just like all these other hard combos so i'm gonna try my best once again so let's say you have the ball in your right hand you're gonna do your pro three escape and you're gonna point your left stick to the top left now as you're keeping it pointed to the top left you're gonna spin the right stick from 11 o'clock to seven o'clock now if you do it right you should get a spin if you don't get a spin try again now whenever you're doing that spin you want to flick down on the right stick and you're going to get a behind the back animation now it's your choice if you want to go to the paint and finish the possession or if you want to spin back and keep going hopefully i explained that right if not the controller is on the screen if the controller does not help tragic Now we're going to start what I believe is the hardest combo to get down in this game because, you know, even I can't do it consistently. Steezo, he is the creator of this move and he can't even do it consistently. You know, this move is just, it's just that hard to time. All right. So first step is you're going to momentum. Now, once you do that, you're going to let go of every single button on your controller and you're going to flick down on your right stick. Now, as soon as you flick down on your right stick, you're going to start running. All right. And you're going to get that little animation where you're like, bringing the ball up to your right hand or the left hand it's like you know you're just doing a large crossover or something and then once you do that animation you're gonna let go of everything again and you're gonna repeat steps two and three you feel me you just gotta keep doing that over and over and over you feel me that's that's it super hard to get down the timing is extremely difficult if you can get this you're godly okay if you can get this combo going all the other combos you probably already learned them or something you just a crackhead okay props to you but that's the last combo but that's gonna wrap up the dribble tutorial if you guys did enjoy and you learned something be sure to leave a like and share the video with your friends that don't know how to dribble if you did not learn something and it was trash and it was garbage and you're gonna leave a dislike i'm sorry just know i spent hours on this and i tried my best to explain everything the best that i could but once again that's gonna wrap up the video if you did enjoy leave that like comment if you did learn something and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I do dribble tutorials every year on 2K. You know, get get updated, you feel me? And if you're subscribed, might as well turn on post notifications. You know, that's just a plus to it. But hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. I'm out.